Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. So now we are able to successfully show the data from the Firebase store. So which is available in the Firebase store. This is the Firebase store data and we are able to show it. Now in the Firestore database, we, ha we have also an option to get the real time data. So what is this real time data? Real time data means, for example, let's say that here we are having the second node, right? And the document referring to that one is the, in the database is this one. And if I try to change the data here, edit it. If I try to change this data, update it. Here, the data will not be updated. So now, for example, let's say that if I refresh this page, automatically this will be updated. Now it is updated. So how this is possible is, so now here when the another user simultaneously working on the nodes and if he updates anything, so you will not get the updated data until and unless you refresh this one. In the Firestore, you have an option to get the real time data. That means whenever any other user is updating the nodes or he is adding a new nodes means without refreshing, it will automatically update you here. So that is the thing I want to explain you. So we can also have an option to do this one. How we can do this? So for this one, so if you go to our real time data, so this is our real time data here in the Firebase in the build, here you'll be able to see an option get real time updates. And if you click on this get real time updates, here you'll be able to see the thing. So you need to use a on snapshot method. So using this on snapshot method, this is the method it will trigger. It will always check that whether the documents has been changed or not. And if you want to unsubscribe, you can unsubscribe it. That is the, that is a different thing. So on snapshot and you will be passing the query. Qu query means nothing but this collection. And here you are using the where condition, which we will try to see afterwards in our uh, videos. And here we will you need to get all the documents, right? So we can use only the collection of DB of nodes and you will get a query snapshot and we can do it. So every time when a document changes, this on snapshot will be triggered. So that is the thing. So let's copy this on snapshot and here you can copy it. And in this one here, let's go to the get notes. So this is our get notes, right? I can comment out this all the code and let's paste this on snapshot. And now if you pasted this on snapshot, this should be imported from the Firestore. So here at the top, if you try to see on snapshot is imported from the Firebase slash Firestore. Fine. And here, this is a query. So this query is nothing but this collection. So we are not using the get docs, this one. So we need to get the query. So here I will be getting the collection of DB nodes. And now query snapshot. And we can remove this one all. So we should not have this one all. Now here, here you can use nodes dot value or otherwise what I can do is I can copy this entire note and all those things. And here I can paste it. Now, if you try to do so here, you will be able to see now we have did something now here. I can remove this one all console also. So now on snapshot. So whenever the document changes automatically, it will query that nodes and you will get the query snapshot and we are pushing each one by one in the nodes value. So fine. Let's try to see the data. And if I try to refresh this page, so we are able to see three times right? second note edited. I will remove this one. So this time I will try to remove this one. So here I am editing this page and I am deleting this one. Update it and we are not able to see the output. And if you try to see, so we are getting a duplication, first note, second note. And again, we are seeing a duplication, first note, second note, third note. So we are getting duplication. So that means something we have did wrong in the code. So what is the wrong? Let's try to see here. If you try to see all the time, we whenever a snapshot is trying to make so it is querying the documents and it is preparing and it is pushing this one. So that means the previous data already will be present in the nodes and we are pushing again the new data. Instead of this one, what I can do is so we can write notes data. So I will take one variable. Okay. And this one instead of here, I will do notes data dot push. So I will push these all things in the notes data after completion of all this looping and all those things. And I can do notes dot value is equal to notes data. So I will completely replace these all things with the notes data. Now this looks fine according to me. Now if you try to see the output this time and here if I refresh this page, so fine. So if I refresh this page, so we are able to get only the four data. One, two, three, four. Yeah, it's working fine. And here I will try to edit it. 
edited okay if i click on this update automatically this needs to be updated see updated automatically i haven't refreshed this page it is automatically updated now i will try to remove remove this uh, this this one so if i remove this document delete and automatically this will be removed yeah here you see it removed for example first note i will try to remove this first note in this one and i am removing a first note starting delete and the first note has been deleted so without refreshing the page the real time data and if i add a document here id 1 and here content so first note added again i will use this one and let's try to save it and if i save this one see again this got added so without refreshing the data we are able to get the real time notes data so by using this real time updates fine right so this is how we will get the real time updates and if you want to change the snapshot for example now i have this time i have added a new document right previously i have edited a document second note i have edited it but first note i have added it so if you want to know those type of changes so you can use here so it's on snapshot queue of snapshot and you can you can trigger this method and you can call this method doc changes and in this doc changes you'll be able to get a change and you can do change it out type if the document is added if the document is modified if the document is removed so like that you can able to get the changes you can track the changes and you can do your logic so whatever the logic you want to implement it you can implement your own logic so like this you can do on the snapshot so this is not related to our uh, main thing right so that is not, that is a uh, that is the reason i am not going deep into this one so if you want to modify the real time data so you can use this type of concept and now what I will try to do is so here I will commit this code in a new branch that is video hyphen 96 video hyphen 96 and I am committing this code so real time this is our get real time data okay get real time notes data so I am committing this code so whoever may be having a doubts and, and all those things so they can refer to this code and here I am opening the github also so I will show you this github link whoever may be having a doubts in this one that github repo link is provided in the description below and they can go to this particular branch and they can see the code so that's it guys so this is all about the real time data so you can use this one avoid get docs of collection of data also you can use it or otherwise if you want to track the real time changes and all those things also you can use this one on snapshot changes so this is our on snapshot this is a method which will always listen to the data so that is the main thing you need to understand so difference between so we are not using the get docs method get docs method is a different thing and here on snapshot is a different thing so in order to get the real time data hope you understood about this real time data if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you